Jerry just really freaks me out a little bit, to be honest. A long time coming and you guys have requested this quite a bit I am going to take you through how I make my breakfast what I eat for breakfast when I eat breakfast and all that good stuff so let's go into my kitchen which happens to be in my living room because you know when you live in a condo in downtown Toronto everything is in the same room so um, no judgment there but let's go and make some breakfast so for starters, I would like to say that I am not typically like a right as I wake up morning breakfast person. I usually have my breakfast at around 11 o'clock and I have a coffee early in the morning to kind of tie me over. So I think that you could call that intermittent fasting, but I do find that it does help with bloating um, and kind of my digestion and, and going number two in the washroom. It does definitely help. But anyways, that aside, I do love a healthy breakfast. I've never been an eggs and bacon person. And so here are the ingredients that I use for my go-to breakfast. So to start, I love my almond milk or oat milk is really great, but I always get unsweetened original and I will never have a glass of dairy ever again because dairy just really freaks me out a little bit to be honest with you. And I have my hemp hearts, which are a great source of protein. And I have my flax seeds, which are ground because, you know, when you get whole flax seeds, it's kind of a little bit tougher. So to show you what it looks like, it's all ground up like that in there. Then I have my chia seeds, which is the base and super important. And I have my coconut chia granola, which is dairy free and it has coconut shavings and little chia seeds in it with the granola, which is delicious and has lots of fiber. Same with the flax seeds, flax seeds. And then I have my cinnamon, I have my walnuts, and I have my sliced almonds, my banana. I have almond butter. Um, I love, I love almond butter, but it is really expensive. Like this small tub is $10 and that's absolutely crazy, but uh, it's delicious. I only buy it if I'm feeling, you know, like I got a little paycheck and I can have money to spend. So that's when I got this. <laughs> and in case I don't have that extra money to spend on almond butter, I get the all natural peanut butter. I cannot do the craft sugary peanut butter anymore. As soon as I've gone to all natural peanut butter, I can never go back. It is delicious and it tastes so different and just amazing to be honest. And then, of course, some berries to top it all off. So first we are gonna start with grabbing a bowl and grabbing our chia seeds. So typically I'll pour about almost half a cup of chia seeds. Next step would be to shake up the almond milk and pour that bad boy into the chia seeds. And next, you will kind of just stir it up, get the chia seeds soaked in the almond milk until they start to expand. Typically, I will let the chia seeds soak in the almond milk for about two minutes and just stirring consistently so the texture gets a little bit thicker as you can see. So the next step that I usually take is grabbing my coconut chia granola and I actually look for organic brands that don't have any dairy in the granola because lots of the time, lots of granola has milk substance in it. So this one is completely vegan and it is delicious. I love this granola because it already has the coconut shavings in it and it has a couple extra chia seeds. All right, so next step is the banana. So you'll grab your banana, just crack it open. Usually one banana is good for two people, so I'm typically making two chia seed bowls for Matt and I, but right now I will just use a full banana for my bowl. So the next step I usually take is grabbing my cinnamon and sprinkling just the littlest bit on top of the bananas. 
Next, we will grab our whole ground flaxseed meal and just sprinkle that on top as well, just like what we did with the cinnamon. And then next, we will grab our hemp hearts and do the same thing that we just did with the flax seeds and cinnamon. One of my favorite parts about using hemp hearts is that you can also sprinkle it on top of your salad and it is delicious. It's coming together and it is full of deliciousness. All right, next up is grabbing our sliced almonds and sprinkling those guys on top as well. I absolutely love walnuts, so I kind of just punch the bag a little bit and I'm going to sprinkle some walnuts on top because they taste great. All right, so we're making a bit of a mess, but it's coming together. And as you can see, there's some nuts. It's looking really pretty and it is looking tasty. Guys, I'm so sorry. I forgot to mention that I always use maple syrup for this to give it an extra little bit of sweetness. What I will do is just pour it on top of the bananas like so. It doesn't need that much. And that's it. I just washed these guys and I'm about to just toss them in. So I usually just stick them in like that. So last but not least, I'm going to either put my almond butter or my peanut butter on top of the bowl to just really top it off and give it a finishing touch. For the sake of the video and because I'm in the mood for peanut butter, I'm going to use my natural peanut butter. And that's it guys, it is super easy to make it yourself. It is absolutely delicious and super affordable. It is vegan, healthy, full of fiber and protein, and it'll fill you up for quite a few hours. So thank me later, but I'm gonna dig into this bowl and can't wait to see what you guys come up with. So I wanted to make sure that I filmed two breakfast routines, one that you can make directly in the morning and then one that you can make the night before, maybe for that person that is rushing out the door to head to work, like Matt usually is, this would be the perfect breakfast for him to make the evening before. So I cannot stress how easy it is. It might look like a lot of stuff, but it is so, so simple and I'm gonna take you through this process right now. So first we're gonna start with our mason jar and our rolled oats. I typically get the old-fashioned rolled oats by Bob's Red Mill because they're really good quality and they don't get super mushy and icky when it sits overnight. Next step we're going to do is put our chia seeds in with the rolled oats. As you guys can tell, I'm super about freehanding it. I don't think that there should be restrictions into how much stuff that you use because then you're not, you know, what if you like a little bit more cinnamon than the next person? So after sprinkling in the cinnamon, I will put some hemp hearts in on top. And then some flax seeds on top. Remember, they have to be ground flax seeds. There we go. And then I will put some almond milk inside some chocolate almond milk because I love a little bit of chocolate flavoring. All right, here with the almond shavings. Then grab your banana. Next step is the maple syrup. And this is the good part. This is what kind of sweetens everything up. I love putting it on top of the bananas because it gives that extra little icingy, sugary feel and I put a lot in there but it's going to sink to the bottom so it'll taste really delicious and sweet. And of course my favorite part of a breakfast bowl is the peanut butter. Let's put a big glob of that inside. So I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more cinnamon on top just because I love cinnamon and it reminds me of fall and autumn is my favorite season so anything that tastes pumpkin spice, cinnamon, apple related, I am all over. Next up is the unsweetened applesauce. I put a little bit on top. And you can always sprinkle a couple little almonds on top so when you open this jar tomorrow, it'll taste and look pretty. All right, and that is it. There's chia seeds, there's oats, there's applesauce, peanut butter, almonds, bananas. <laughs> maple syrup, there is everything in this guy. And sometimes I'll add coconut yogurt just to give it a little bit more flavor and texture, but I think that this is perfect. 
Good morning! It is bright and early and I have a little bit of morning voice. I just woke up and set up a pot of coffee and it's brewing right now. I'm gonna do my skincare routine, um, get my diffuser going, do my five minute journal and then have a cup of coffee. Then once that's done, I am probably gonna work a little bit longer and then have the breakfast that we made together last night. So let's go and start the day with our coffee. Oh my goodness, you guys, this is my breakfast jar from last night. How delicious does it look? I can't wait to dig in. Yum, look at that, look how delish. This is a great breakfast jar. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. As much as I enjoyed making it, I am super into the whole healthy eating and I just love making breakfast. It's one of my favorite meals to make. I hope that you try this. Tag me, send them to me, show me what you make, and let me know how it goes. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a marvelous morning. See you later.